two is up. Okay, so what do we want on round two here, Reg? Let's see what we got. We've got... Um... Uh, we could do the all-Canadian matchup. General Nemesis do against CCM. Some... Okay, so that's room... Oh, let's do it. Nine. Nine? Okay. okay. So you get uh, in there. I'm uh, slowly going to the... get us set Thank up. Again. Join meeting. Uh, player be one like... will be CCM. And player two... Gentlemen, you guys are okay. We're gonna be Karen, watching their match. We want to get the all Canadian yeah, all match right, well, on here. It was a really fun game. So. Thanks a lot. Um, a you one. guys both won your first matches. Both lost. Hey, I mean, I, with the team I'm running, I didn't expect much difference. So, <laughs> I'm 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 perfectly fine with it. Like I'm I'm, I'm running something that's fun. It's all. Jordo, and that's, that's... Go ahead. Yeah, Jordo kind of dared me to do it. <laughs> well, good luck to both of you guys in the match. Uh, so, so again, again after, after the game, game I might ask a couple questions, questions to you guys. guys. But uh, best of luck to you guys. I'm just going to mute this down, and you guys can go ahead and start. Do you guys want to do your own time, or? I'm fine. Wanna... You're perfect. You I'm fine either way, personally. Perfect. If you guys want to do your own time, and we'll give you a warning if you want, or uh, it's up to you. Do you want us to give you a warning, or do you guys want to have your own timers when you guys start the game? I got a timer here. I'm happy to do it. Perfect. And we'll okay. just uh, said I'll, I'll come in afterwards and we'll talk. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Well, thanks, man. All right. Okay, all the control, huh? That should be fun. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not necessarily intended that much of a control team, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. How do you want to decide who goes first? Uh, I'm happy with the sidekick. Okay, this so I mean, an interesting to... match. So into names. You're on the uh, right. control here. Uh, zero and two. Likewise. I'm on the control. Uh, if you need to change cameras, just oh. do exclamation point camera, then P1 or P2 or whatever. Oh my goodness, that's good. If you do that, <laughs> you got me as a Jetsy expert. Okay, we gotta just update that. Reset life. Okay. We could leave. Oh, can you flip uh, Nemesis's camera? It's fine. Give me a minute so here. So it starts off, uh, looks like uh, Laurier goes ahead and bought a Mastermind. Let's leave the camera on like that. I'll be fine. Oh, my goodness. And counter back, we got a War of Heart bot. They're really quick. Um, they're going way too fast Dana here, went man. Ahead. That's okay. Dana went ahead and bought himself a... That's right. They're just setting up. Uh, Dana went ahead and bought a War of Heart to start up to get his Spider-Man out. You can't have something right when you trigger it. So, and again, we're going to see it. It's another blob team that we've got here. Okay. And it's a blob with the crime syndicate team, which is a little bit fun. Gonna reroll these two. Oops, undo that. Fix camera, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. to fix all that. Okay. We're getting there. That's fine. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna buy Scarlet Witch, not because of her effect, but because of her stats. So, and again, the other part that he just said, it, <laughs> Scarlet Witch is great to stop um, uh, basic actions, <laughs> hey, but she is quite beefy stuff. too. Oh, and so I didn't she's, start she's the. Got, I'm go this path. He's got decent stats. Okay. That's right. They said they're doing their own timer. They are? Yeah, they're doing their own timer. Okay. Oh, so, Dana's up. So, again, we've had a War of oh, Hearts bot. Team Links. Damn it. Team Links. Okay. I'm we weren't there. set up for this one. That was my fault for uh, doing too much of an interview. <laughs> Add me. You're supposed to swear and tell me to get, get up. So, this is so, Nemesis team. And that's... Nemesis, what a great map, by the way. Who designed that? Um, but uh, he's going ahead, knowing he needs sidekicks with the War of Heart. He took three sidekicks and did a villainous pack. So he went with the the old get a thin bag is what he's trying to do, which is a good strategy. And Laurie said as he's bought, he's bought a Mastermind and a Scarlet Witch so far. But uh, he missed the, the Mastermind, which again isn't the worst thing. And he missed the Scarlet Witch, though. So he's definitely going to want to reroll Scarlet Witch. Okay, I think we are up. I've, I've missed no life. <laughs> oh, there's been nothing. I, I, I've been kind of keeping track of it. Okay. Uh, we've had a couple characters both on both sides bought. Makes it a little better. So he went. He still missed on his Scarlet Witch, but he probably could buy something big. Is he going to go for the blob? Oh, he's going Avalanche. And that's the Avalanche, I believe. When he's KO'd, he does damage. When a villain's fielded. Yeah, so, and a villain's okay. fielded. Yeah, ah, solid one. That's quake in my boots or something. I think it's called. Or it is there. It is on screen. Quake on my boots. Quake in your boots. There you go. Thank you, Red Mage. In your boots. 
There you go. Thank you. We got an assistant. <laughs> so yeah, so he, go in the uh, the obvious way with no blob though, because I don't think he needs it yet. Okay. I think it will come out at some point. Why is Jitsi telling me that I'm muted? Thank you. You muted? No, we're good. We're good. Dane make... is going ahead, and another sidekick he's fielding fields his War of Heart. So a very thin bag for for Dana, and he went right away to get the. Is that a? Oh, I think he's proxying his dum dum dice. I'll have to add that to my list of stuff to get for Dana. Some dum dum dice from Guardians. He's running the um, the Black Widow. So he's rolling the old school um, Black Widow dice for his dum dums. And obviously, that's uh, Matt. You played with that dum dum before. I have played with a dum dum before. Played with a dum dum, the one that buffs with the sidekicks. And you see, he's got a massive amount of sidekicks already. So those dum dums are going to start doing some some damage. Uh, not against that mastermind. Actually, that's oh, not the mastermind. No. Avalanche could have been. That mastermind bad. is the. Um, I think it's just the infiltrate one. Infiltrate. Yeah, it's not because that one that does the no damage is uh, Hellfire. Why not? An interesting a one two mastermind. Oh he is. He you knew that was coming. I mean, I haven't seen him purchase any on the right side because I think of just the rush that uh Dana's team is having. Yeah, blob was coming. That's two games in a row. We're gonna have no blob next game. That would have been so great, Bill. I wanna try to get uh, a tier three team in next game if we can. Turn my camera off. Oh, Shiro, how do we ban you? Uh, all right, we'll field a level one uh, dum dum. Yeah. So he did get the first dum dums out. So again, he's using Black Widow dice. He said they're all the same stats except one side. So. Excuse me while I uh, take and care of. Okay. I will pass party to you. So he bought another dum dum villainous pack because again his bag is so small. Uh, he's only got four dice. He's going to come in with that dum dum, I'm sure. So dum -dum oh, we're attacking. Sidekicks too. Well, no way to get a small bag or a small uh, <laughs> use pile. I will do so and I Let's get a small bag. Taking, uh, nine damage. That's a pretty good first hit. That's right. Quite the damage. And it's good we've got a scoreboard on that side too. So Dana's got the scoreboard to help us. So the sidekicks have to get blocked with that War of Heart. I don't know if anyone's brought the card up. Yeah. But the War of Heart says the sidekicks have to be blocked before anything. So yes. Spider-Man and the Dum Dums went through, which did nine damage, which was quite the um, the first hit. That's unfortunate. We roll the mastermind. I mean, Looks that's like uh, is having some bad rolls. He had a little Scarlet. missing that avalanche hurts definitely. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and, and the thing is, it's paper cuts, right? Is what it will be doing. Yeah. And I agree with you, Mike. You gotta win faster when the blob. Yep. Once blob comes out, I guess would you block? Uh, would you blob War of Heart though, or the Dum Dums? I'm assuming you would go War of War Heart. Of Heart. Makes is harder to deal with. Because those sidekicks, the thing is, is he's got to roll them back though. That's the only problem that Dane is gonna have. Is he's got to roll back the sidekicks. Yeah. Doesn't have any sidekicks makers. Uh, there's Blob going to be coming out next turn for Laurier. So if he can survive another turn, the only problem he has is what is Laurier's win con? Get damage through. And that'll be the hard part for him to figure out. Not us. I'm going to pass priority. Attack with the two masterminds. So interesting move that Laurier wants to attack with his character. Now, I guess it's because they have infiltrate. He's hoping that he'll let yeah. the masterminds come back. Uh, but Dana doesn't have anything really that's going to knock it out because he wants to keep his sidekicks. Yes, right? he does. Oh, that's right. War of Heart, they don't take damage. That's why he still has sidekicks in the field. So at this point, I would just take the two, I would assume, um, and let Scarlet Witch through. Is it a... It's not a 5-3 switch, is it? Oh, if it's a 5-3, you block it. But um, okay, I'm thinking Scarlet you just... By, uh, he's going to buff it. So we let the one go through. Outsider went out, so he just did a counter swing back of six, seven, seven, seven counter swing. It wasn't too bad, and we forgot about that outsider that does a plus two to a villain. I did forget that. Solid, yes. Uh, didn't see that outsider, and that's why I was like, oh, let's Scarlet Witch through. She'll hit you for three or four, and then boom, <laughs> not anymore. More. Exactly. So, yeah. 
So here we're hoping again because he had a short side on the on the use pile. Oh, he's hoping to get more right heart back. again. And dum dum. So this could with a buff. Ooh. Oh, this could be game. That is actually game right there. I have a feeling that's game. Oh, he can't feel the dum dum. Because he would have had lethal. Still has the damage because the Spider Man's gonna hit and Dum Dum's buffed to seven. Should be lethal. Yeah. Yep. There's lethal right there. Holy quick, very very quick game. I can get in there and chat with these guys. So. Uh, yeah, you do that. I will uh, mute. Absolutely. The we can clear the boards, get ready, everything else. Yeah. Let me jump. Gentlemen, that was a very fast game. A lot faster cool. than the first one we were watching on stream. Yeah, it went much faster than I expected. <laughs> yeah, that that dum dum with uh, war war of heart is um, it gets quite vicious quite fast. Even I think better than the guy gardeners. Yeah. Um, I I had one turn to stop it with Avalanche and Avalanche didn't come up. Yeah, that, right. And the Avalanche would have knocked out all the sidekicks, and that would have been yeah. quite the interesting because that was the question we asked when that we forgot War Heart when we first saw it. We're like, oh, but then he's got to get his sidekicks, and then I was like, no, wait, sidekicks take no damage, and yeah, and solid choice. Uh, I guess I mean obviously both teams you can see you use Scarlet Witch. Uh, we were going to ask how was your win con going to be, Laurier? Uh, simple idea, very very simple, very straightforward. How I win. And and keep in mind, this is not an opt a super optimized team. Mm -hmm. As I'm directly involved with rulings and whatnot, I was, I mean, took the foot off the pedal a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, the idea is avalanche. I'm I'm always attacking with my masterminds. Yep. Hopefully they get killed once in a while, and they can't be blocked by Pretty sidekicks because cool. the sidekicks would get killed by avalanche. Mm -hmm. So the idea, okay, well you end up killing them. They leave. They come back. And eventually, one. when I get the chance, get Owlman. All yeah. of a sudden, those guys are three attack each. Three attacks, and then they start doing attack. Yeah. And then, keep in mind, I also got Outsider. Yeah. And the Outsider had got us the first time. We we're like, oh, let's Scarlet Witch through. And they're like, oh, wait, it's a six now. Um, it's, I mean, it's a five, but yes. On stream, we try. I tried to do that Crime Syndicate. And the problem was I had no energy. I used Misdirection to try to use stuff. Um, a little bit slower to, obviously, a team like a Dum Dum team. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, but interesting, we, we didn't see that outsider. We're missing that. Uh, the one card we were in the stream that no one has run today was the Confront the Mighty, which was very interesting oh, to, yeah. to stop around control. Uh, oh, yeah. And I guess the question I'll ask, we have lots of time in this time, but Dana, what went right this game and that didn't go right in the first game that you had? Uh, well, honestly, everything rolled for me this time. Um, yeah. So it was pretty straightforward. And like, like uh, Laurie said, not rolling the Avalanche was a real saver for me, or else it would have gone on quite a bit longer. But uh, in the first game, I got absolutely demolished by uh, Super K. Uh, Doom Lance just wouldn't let me get anything in my field whatsoever. Yes. I rolled nothing to deal with that. And uh, she had a fast, deadly character out. So like nothing was getting through. My field was getting wiped every turn. Uh, yep. And I just slowly died and I had nothing to do. Yeah, and with once once you get that, yeah, the the deadly with a negative event was fun, but yeah, even that I saw you have the black widow down there too, um, that could have stopped some stuff against the avalanche. But of course, you were just That's going true. for the rush, and you had the pedal on the metal. You were going. Um, yeah, I I expected widow to come out as a counter to avalanche as the game went yeah. on if it had yeah. lasted yeah. longer, but yeah. then I was going to use his slingers. Oh no, yeah, that's I right. Mean, I can't target her with slingers. Oh, yeah, but it was nice that first turn you saw the. Um, you or sorry, I think it was your second turn. You had the three sidekicks, and good, good on you that you said, "Yeah, I need sidekicks." And not only did it put sidekicks in the field, but it thinned your bag out, and then you were able to buy using the villainous pack, getting stuff ready, and and set up for those big turns with Dum Dum. So, uh, very, very good game to both you guys. Oh, and you. Uh, I, I think the last game we went right to the end of time, and we we actually went right into your game. But uh, I, I'm not sure if we're gonna come out, let you guys have a little bit of a break here. And um, we're going to go back into the chat here with me and Matt. We're just going to be talking about some of the first game results we saw. But uh, good luck to you guys. Uh, thank you very much for being on stream. And good luck to the rest of the tournament. Thanks, guys. Hey, hey no problem. Thanks, just guys. wish I had made it a bit of a longer game. But <laughs> hey, that's life. It, it, it would have been nice. I mean, we've seen Blob twice. And we're like both games, like Blob, Blob. Um, you know, you didn't get a chance to get the Blob out. Yeah. But um, we did get to see the Scarlet Witch. It would have been nice to see the Avalanche starting to do some stuff. And I mean, it would have been nice too to have that mastermind. Uh, I know that was the infiltrate one, but I think the one with the can't take damage, it was a hellfire, I think it was. Yeah, uh, um, that one, here's the problem. There's a fair amount of removal that's 
either da damage before combat or like yeah. so negating combat damage is not as important as it looks yeah. in this format yeah. yeah yeah and that that i wish i would have got to see the power ring i mean i know when i play Jodo, i try to buy it it just didn't come out but that guy can get pretty beefy especially with your opponent having stuff in the field oh yeah you can get very yeah. big with an overcrush type thing and that's what i try to run it with was a proton cannon but Ooh. um but I like that idea you had with the villainous, uh, with the villains team and the outsider. Uh, hopefully, you get to buy some of those uh, lowest lanes because I tried that. It, the problem I had was her fielding cost killed me. That's why Atomica's there. Yeah, to oh. swap it in. And I used Misdirection is when I had uh, a, a Superwoman team. Um, so hopefully, you have a game where you get to play that. And that Owlman's always fun when he gets in the field. Oh yeah. So were you uh, were you planning on buying Villainous Pact as part of your win con at all? It's a backup plan if ever Avalanche gets shut down. Yep. Got it. Okay. Villains Pact is always a win con if you have a field. <laughs> Especially on yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. always have it. Oh, it's just there for the global. It's like, mm, it could hurt you. <laughs> so. No, there's a, re there's a reason why those two together are staples of villain teams. Yeah. Yep. Like, no. Yeah. Well, good luck. Well. Good luck to both you guys uh, in the future rounds. Thanks, man. Cheers. Thanks again.